Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at libraries in Solidity, um, what a library is, how to use it, and why, why to use them. Um, and essentially this is what a library looks like. So this here is from the safe math uh, from Open Zeppelin. Now these are actually not, not this current uh, library that I'm looking at right now isn't very relevant with versions of Solidity 0.8 and above because they've really got kind of pre-built into this Solidity version, the functionality that this safe math library um, offers. But as you can see, it's essentially pre-written code, which we can then use, uh, and it just makes our life easier. So this, this try add function automatically has an overflow flag. Now, if you remember unsigned integers in Solidity, there can only be a range between zero and two to the power of 256. So if we have zero, of a token and we send it we then go all the way back down to the very very top because it kind of circles the background likewise if you're at the very top and you send and you get something in you get an extra token it'll then topple you over and your, your your balance will be zero so these functions over here try add try subtract they automatically check it all for you as you can see if we've got an integer c which is equal to a plus b. If c is less than a, that means that it loops back around. Something's gone wrong, so return false. Um, <clears throat> and the opposite applies over here. But with Solidity 8 and above, then it's already built in. So it's not quite so functional. However, there are still other many reasons to use libraries. And that's because by using libraries, you can get function, you can inherit functionality, essentially. Um, which is already stored on the blockchain. So you don't need to use your own gas doing it all. And you can use it in your own contracts without actually having to write the code yourself. So Zeppelin have also got some other stuff, um, other pre-built things. For example, when minting ERC20 tokens, it gives you like a, its own kind of structured way of doing it. Um, so yeah, just making your life easier, basically. Uh, I'll put the link to all of this open Zeppelin documentation in here. I haven't found many good libraries myself yet. They don't seem too well resourced. Um, so if any of you have got good libraries, which you use often, send them over in the, in the comments and I'll check them out.